Hey my lovelies, Serene Dream here with another pick a card reading. And today's requested topic is are they trustworthy? Um, it's pretty self-explanatory, but if you need a further explanation, is this reading is going to be about um, your person and whether or not you can trust them. This is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. So only take what resonates, leave what does not, reverse the messages if that's how it fits your situation. If you have not checked out your monthly zodiac readings or your general forecast for the year or love forecast for the year, you can do so at the Vimeo links in the description box below. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, link to that information can be found in the description box as well. And follow me on Instagram at Serene Dream Things for daily guidance. And on the screen are three different fonts of the word trust. Go ahead and make your selection if you need more time. Uh, pause the video, but we're going to go ahead and get started with those who chose font number one. Okay, so for those who chose font number one, can you trust your person? Are they trustworthy? Yeah, I'm hearing that this person is very honorable, um, noble even. I get that they have like strong principles, so you don't have to worry about this person like when they tell you they're going to do something or when they speak about who they are or they make some sort of promise to you, you can trust this person to honor that um, because it's, it's just something about principles with this person I'm getting that's very important and they just don't, they don't deviate from that for anything or anyone. It's not even just about you. I feel like they're just like this overall and that's a very um, admirable trait. Yeah. I feel like this person is very trustworthy and especially trustworthy with you. I feel like you might have a wall up though, maybe from your past um, relationships where you uh, couldn't trust your partners. And I feel like though this person is showing you everything to indicate that they are trustworthy, you could still be questioning them. You could still have a bit of a wall up because you're waiting for, like I'm hearing the other shoe to drop. It's like you kind of may even feel like this person is too good to be true. You're like, you know what? Because like history has shown you that nobody is who they say they are. Like that's what your your history has shown you. But I feel like this person really is who they say they are and who they show they are. Like if you haven't come up with anything about this person, like if you haven't come across any dirt or caught them in a lie, it's because there isn't any dirt to discover and there are no lies to find I just get like this person is exactly as they say they are like they stand on like they stand on their ground like they stand on their word and they don't play about it I'm getting that saying I don't even know where it's from but it's one of those mafia shows or something when he was he's like all I have is my or my all I have is my word and my balls and I don't break either one for anybody so I get like this person kind of has that mentality like you know, all they have is their word. All they have is their character, their principles, and they're not going to break that or like deviate from that for anyone. And especially with you, I just get like they value you a lot. And I feel like this person may know that you're a little um, protective of self, that you might have your wall up because of things you went through. And they're trying to I feel like they're they're working through that. Like I'm hearing they're working with you. Like you're not immediately writing you off because you're defensive because they understand why you're defensive, but they're hoping that in time you can come around to really trust them because I feel like they're doing everything they can to show that they are trustworthy to you. Yeah, I'm hearing that this, like you're going to come to the conclusion or come to the understanding that this person, like their word is their bond. And I feel like so far that has been the case, like everything they said they were going to do, they did everything, you know, they said they were, they're showing that they are everything. It's like, um, like this is the kind of person, like if they say they love you, they show you, they love you. If this person says they're going to be somewhere at a certain time, they are there at a certain time. They say they're going to call at a certain time. They're calling you at that time. And if for whatever reason they're late, or they or they they know they're going to miss some sort of meeting with you or call with you. I feel like they're sending you a text and was like, "Babe, you know I got such and such going on." And they're giving you a new time frame. They say, "Okay, I'm going to be there in 15 minutes instead because you know there's traffic here." This person is just very reliable. Like it's just very it's almost like they're very strict on themselves. 
like they hold themselves to a very high, like a very uh, strong standard. I just get like, that's just part of their character. And they may be this way because they want this from other people. Like this is the kind of person that they treat people the way they want to be treated. So the fact that they are very trustworthy is because they want a partner who's very trustworthy. They want a person who honors their word. So they want to be everything. That It's almost in a way that this person wants to show you the way they desire to be treated by the way they treat you. So again, it's, you know, they treat, they treat people the way they wish to be treated. But especially in a relationship, it's like this person is teaching you how to love them by the way they love you. This person is teaching you how to show up for them the way they show up for you. And they're hoping like the way they're going about it, the actions they're showing and everything they're doing and saying, they're hoping that you pick up on that example and you follow it in regards to this relationship. And I feel like so far this person has never met anyone like you. I get like there is a very unique quality. There's something special or unique about you that really sets this person's soul ablaze. So like even if you do are even if you are a little defensive, I just get like this that's the reason they have so much patience patience with you because of the special unique quality that you possess that they haven't found anywhere else. But I feel like they really um adore it. Yeah. This person really adores something about you. Like they adore you, but it's like a, it's something I'm getting that it's something intangible like it's not something they can touch or like readily like pick out I feel like it may be an energy you possess that they can't really describe in words but it's something special that sparks their soul in a very special way and they they're like I've never met anyone like this they may even see a lot of themselves in you like I get like there's sort of like a mirroring effect between you so maybe the way this person could conducts themselves is the way that you conduct yourself too. Like maybe you like to treat people the way you like to be treated. Maybe you are a very trustworthy person. Though you've dealt with very untrustworthy people in the past, I get that you could have, um, like it didn't change who you are. It's like you kept hoping that you would, like I was mentioning earlier about this person conducting themselves in a relationship the way they want you to reflect back at them I get like you could have been like you could have been that way in all your past relationships but like nobody got it but this person gets it so I feel like you and this person may have that in common like there's just something very principled about the two of you like your spirit your energy like you respect people and I get like, you respect people's time, you respect people's feelings, their space. And I feel like the that's a very um, rare in today's society, society because today's society is very much based on disrespect, you know, there or like selfishness. But I feel like you're very, yeah, I feel like you're both very uh, big on like respect and like respectability with, um, honoring the other person not necessarily in a way that neglects yourself but again you just like conduct yourself in the relationship the way you want that person to reflect back at you and this person sees that like even if they, you haven't shown that very much because you have this wall up it's like they can sense that you are the same in that way i'm getting like the press of a button This person, um, I feel like, okay, this is kind of going somewhere else because I'm kind of getting that this person could have seen you in a dream before. Like, I feel like before they met you in some way, they encountered you or encountered your energy in some way. Because it's something very like, your energy is something they remember, but they don't know, like there's no like physical remembrance. So I do feel like this person may have encountered you in a dream. I feel like when you met them, it's like they immediately knew you, like they knew you from somewhere. 
And I feel like they have, they understand, they quickly came to understand that you were the person that they encounter in their dreams or like the energy that's been around them for a while. It's a possibility that you've met in a very innocent way. What I get from that is I don't feel like this was a connection that started through like, like a physical, typical um, meeting between people that's based on like flesh. I feel like you had like a meeting of the spirits first. And when you encountered each other, it's possible that you didn't even like when you first met, you possibly didn't even technically meet then. You could have just saw each other. And like this could even be a situation like you encountered each other before, but you never spoke then. But like ever since you laid eyes on each other, you never stopped thinking about each other that it could also play out in that way. And then it's like you encountered each other again. And that was the time that you actually met and got acquainted. But I get something about your first meeting was pure. Like, and what I mean by pure, it's like there was no conversation. There was no, there was nothing. Um, <clears throat> And it's not, okay, I, I want to clarify because it's not to say that, you know, if you met somebody and you had a, a innocent conversation getting to know each other, like that's not pure. But I get like there's, when I say pure, it's like literally the connection when you first encountered each other, it was through like, there was like, there was no words or no physical exchange at all. It was just, I guess the better word would be like, it was spiritual you spiritually connected before you physically connected. So that would make sense why I was picking up pure because it's like in the spiritual realm, everything is pure. There's nothing like to sully the energy. It's just very much like just spirits connecting in the most holiest of ways. And I get like you had an encounter like that before you actually met. So this could, like I said, this could be like this person encountering you in dreams or energetically somehow, or you like laying eyes on each other, but never speaking or having any, any physical interaction during that time. Because I get something about this person has it in their mind that um, like they knew from the first time they encountered your energy in whatever way they did without speaking, without touching you. It was just like they knew that you were it. And it was just a matter of like making the connection. So that makes sense while I was picking up like a press of a button. This person could have felt like, you know, they could have encountered you in person. But like I said, you had no physical exchange. You just looked at each other, no conversation, no touching you could have been like across the room from each other, but they could have found out like who you are and been stalking you on social media ever since. And this person feels like they could have, this person could have sent you a message or they're, or they're about to. You could be stalking each other on social media, to be honest. Because I get like, that could be a very specific message. It could be like the two of you and you made, when you had that encounter, where you didn't speak, had no physical interaction at all. You somehow found out who each other was or you somehow knew like through mutual people who were there and um, or just like from observing each other at this event, wherever you were, where you saw each other. And it's like you've been stalking each other ever since on social media. And I feel like you have either not made contact yet or you're uh or you have recently because there's just something very like innocent and pure between the two of you still i feel like you're like you could be like subbing each other or something but i get like there hasn't been like a real connection made yet or this connection is just brand spanking new but yeah because i'm getting like there's it's a click of a button this person feels like it's just like it's nothing but a click of a button to send you a message and make their dreams come true. And I feel like this person is like thinking about that, like they're working on that because they really want to make this dream come true with you to make this connection real, physical. 
Yeah, that that's going to be a very specific message. I'm not getting that that's going to apply to everybody who chose this group, but I do feel like for somebody listening to this, there is like a non-physical connection between you and this person. You're aware of each other, but I don't feel like you've actually, uh, whoever I'm speaking to, you haven't made the actual connection yet, but I feel like it's about to happen. But I feel like even with the, um, but you still have like some form of like subliminal communication because I get like you're still going through the motions of like trying to study each other and figure out like who the other is and whether you could trust them I feel like you're probably have, you probably have spent all this time observing each other from afar because of the fear that this person was not who you think they are like who they don't how they present themselves to be on the surface that could be why there hasn't been any physical contact as of yet, because the both of you or one of you have been observing the other from afar to make sure that, you know, making this move, this, this physical connection was the right move. So everything else will still apply to whoever that part resonates with, with the non-physical connection. You're still trying to decide whether or not this person is trustworthy. And I feel like this person could even still be trying to show you through their subliminal means that you can trust them. And I feel like they've been showing up. Like they've been, they've been, uh, everything has been kind of, ch like they've got a lot of green flags. I just get that kind of energy from this person. This person has a lot of green flags. So even if you have been observing them from afar, all their, the green flags check out. They aren't false. They aren't fake. This person is exactly who they present to be. And they're making sure that you see that on all fronts. And of course, we have the other batch of you, majority of you who are in a physical connection with this person. And this person is doing everything and saying everything to show you that they are trustworthy. And I get like, regardless of whatever your circumstances are with this person, that they see that quality in you as well. And they're very... um drawn by that I got like that suddenly I got like that sniffle you get like after you've been crying let me tune in to figure out what that means because it, it just came out of nowhere yeah it's like the kind of sniffle you get like when you're calming down from a cry Oh my gosh, what is that? Okay, give me a moment. Okay, for those of you who are dealing with a non-physical connection, and I was mentioning earlier this person is like, it's just a click of a button to send a message and make this connection real. They could be really scared to do it. Like they could be like going back and forth like, do I want to do like, I feel like they really want to do it, but they may feel like, is it the right time to do it? Should I wait? Should I go now? Or should I wait? I feel like there's like a very strong nervousness, almost to the point that they're getting emotional behind it. Cause I'm getting like, they don't want to lose this person. I also get like on the flip side of this is a physical connection that this person could be like nervous to express like deeper feelings to you. Like they could be afraid of like telling you they love you for the first time. They could feel like, is it too soon? So for most of you, I get like this connection. If it is a physical connection, I get that it's really new. Like I don't get like, I don't feel like you've been dating for more than maybe four or five months and that's pushing it. I feel like at most it's three months. You've been dating for a few months, some even less than that, but definitely no more than five months. I get like you have, but I feel like five is pushing it. I feel like it is definitely no more than three, no more than three months if you are dealing with this person physically. Because I get like it's so early and this person is like feeling these deep feelings for you and they're trying to decide if they should express that to you now or should they wait until like more time passes or until they have like some sort of certainty on your end that you feel the same but there's like a nervousness here regardless, either nervousness about physically reaching out to you for the first time or nervousness about expressing deeper feelings to you. But, and I know we are talking about, like, again, this person is trustworthy. Um, 
that's what we're coming to this reading about. But I'm just picking up these other things about this person because they really want to prove to you that they are who they say they are. And I feel like um, they're very certain that you're the one. So it's like that's why they're going out of their way the way they are even though it's not necessarily the easiest thing to connect like this or to be with someone who who is as defensive as you are in some cases because of your past or like I said if it's a non-physical connection like this is the first time they would have connected with someone in this way and it's like nervousness to you know go forth and take it to the next level it's like how do I even do this you know and if I do it like this is it too early should I wait should I sit back and observe some more? It's like they're having all these questions, but it's like they're very certain that you're it, regardless of how this unfolds for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to those who chose spot number two. Hold on, let me timestamp this here. Okay, so for those who chose spot number two, is your person trustworthy? Okay, the first thing I'm hearing immediately is this person acts trustworthy, but they're not. I feel like this person could be, um, I feel like they put on a great act though. So I feel like you may even trust this person, but I, I feel like they're, they have like a secret side, like they're hiding something or they're hiding a side of themselves that you're unaware of. This person could lead like a secret, a secret life even that you're unaware of. But I feel like they've made you very comfortable. Like you have a certain comfort in this person. So whatever they've shown you, I feel like you fell for it. But this person is, I'm hearing a charlatan. Like they're they are not a trustworthy person at all. They're a trickster, a charlatan. I feel like they know all the right words to say, the right things to do in the moment. But I feel like if you actually sit and observe this person for a while, you will see that this person is not who they say they are. I don't feel like they're so good at hiding their other side that you can't figure it out. I just feel like whoever I'm speaking to, whoever resonates with this group, I get that you have a tendency to fall for pretty words. So I feel like this person's actions don't necessarily match up with all the words that they say to you. They do a little something. I feel like I'm hearing like they do a little razzle dazzle, you know, to try to match their words to their actions, but I don't feel like their razzle dazzle is enough. Like their actions are not matching up completely with their words. Like if this person is late, like I feel like they're giving you an excuse. They could even be calling you or hitting you up before, you know, if they're gonna be late, but it's like they, they're they drumming up a fake excuse on why they're late. But this could be a pattern that this person is always late or they're always having some excuse why they didn't call you back when they said they would or wouldn't be where they say they're canceling. But I feel like you might be whatever excuses they're giving because they're giving an excuse and maybe they're hitting you up before the time you're scheduled to meet up or talk. You, you're, you're, you're saying to yourself that at least they reached out, at least they're communicating but I feel like they're full of caca, if you know what I mean. I just get like this person, like they know how to finesse people, especially people they're dealing with romantically. This person, I'm getting like they're a player, like just straight up. This is what they do. I feel like they've played on so many people, like they've gotten their game, like they've their game is tight, if I'm being honest. And I feel like they know who to target. They target people who are very, uh, who are like, who are smitten by words. Like I said, who who's very, um, who this whoever I'm speaking to, you don't, it's not that you don't care about actions, but I feel like words move you more. So even if the person isn't delivering all the way, you're like, but they're saying such not, they're making pretty promises to me. You know, they're communicating with me all the time. Like this is the kind of person who will literally call you up while they're on the while they're on a date with somebody else to tell you like to cancel the date with you because they're running over on their date with somebody else. But of course they're giving you some BS excuse for why they're not coming through and why they gotta cancel with you. 
They could be like, oh, I feel like somebody uses their kids as an excuse a lot and be like, oh, you know, my kids are sick or, you know, I had to go to my kids game or whatever. But it's like, it's never about the kids. The kids are just like a very, it's their go-to excuse because they know that that's an excuse you always go for. You're never going to question it because you're like, oh, that's their kids. Of course they have to be there for them. You know, it's just... Mm -mm. this person is trash like I feel like they have you waiting a lot yeah so again it's the, it comes back to what I was saying before it's like this person they communicate a lot but they communicate a lot of BS but they don't actually come through a lot their actions do not match their words I feel like they cancel plans a lot they don't show up where they say they're gonna be you know but it's like they always got the word. They always got the excuse ready. And for the moment, that's like all that matters to like matter to you. But I feel like if you actually sat down and evaluated it, like take all the pretty words out of it and just calculate the many times this person has like disappointed you with their like by not showing up you will understand that you're being played. And I'm not here to sugarcoat anything. So I, I hate to give these kind of messages, but I feel like, and I usually don't deliver negative messages on a pick a card reading, but that's just what I'm getting here. This person is just, they're playing you. And I feel like they, you are not the only one. I feel like they have a string of people that they're playing just like you. And they bounce around between all of you. Like they play all of you. Yeah, they sell you dreams. This person could be making promises about like, you know, moving in with you or like going on a fancy vacation. Like they make all these fancy dreams and promises that really like get your imagination going to make you look forward to something great with them, but they never deliver. This person, I feel like they're actively always looking for new victims, like new supply. This person, so this is the kind of person, they don't have just you and somebody else. I feel like they are constantly collecting new people. So they're playing like a number of you all and they're constantly adding new people to the roster. I don't even feel, they may not even view, I, honestly, I don't feel like anybody is the main here, but... Yeah, I feel like you're not the main to this person because they don't have a main. They don't check in with you. You can even have kids with this person. But they've been playing you the whole time. And watch yourself. Because I get like, you need to, uh, if you sleep with this person still, you need to protect yourself. You don't need to sleep with them unprotected. Because I get like, they could very much be carrying something and not even know it because they sleep around so much. They're around everywhere. And like I said, constantly collect collecting new victims, new supply. But yeah, this person's full of pretty words. They're BS, their actions don't match up. And if you really sat down and evaluated it, you would, you would be, if you were to be honest with yourself and just observed and really just like, measured up the words with the actions you will see what i'm talking about that this person is just they're not it drop i know it's easier said than done but you really need to drop this zero and get you a hero you this person does not deserve you at all they don't deserve an ounce more of your time and i don't even feel i don't even feel like they're worth it like i feel like they try to make themselves to be more than what they are like this person cannot even be that attractive like maybe they groom themselves well but when you really look at them they're not like that fine you know or like their actual features you're just like you know you're kind of ugly you just keep yourself up well or you wear good cologne or perfume you know or you know or you dress well or and this person could like have nice things but they don't never have no money i just get like there's something broke down about this person that it's no loss to you if you let them go. Like in your mind, because of the BS they've been feeding you, you could feel like you're holding on to a prize. So you need to give them the benefit of the doubt because nobody is perfect. I feel like that's what you soothe yourself with. 
But I feel like if you actually sat down and, like I said, evaluated this person's actions up against their words, just like, no, they're full of it. And when you think about like what you're losing, you're not actually losing anything because this person is not that fine. They're not, they're not that, they're not that paid. I feel like they could even be struggling financially. This person could even get money from you. I just get like, it's just something very like shabby about their lifestyle that they try to dress up. Like they, they dress themselves up very well. They dress their lives up very well, but it's like something very raggedy behind the scenes about them that um, when you really think about it, you're like, it's not that hard to let go of this person. They don't have nothing to offer me. Yeah, I get like, that's that's who you're dealing with. So yeah, um, girl, boy, bye. Like, let this person go. It's really not worth it. Okay, so let's move on to group three. Okay, those who chose uh, font number three. Is your person trustworthy? I get like an edge of, you're on the edge of your seat. So I feel like you really feel like, those who came to this reading who chose group three, I feel like you are already questioning how, like you really do feel like you can't trust this person. Cause I get like, you're on the edge of your seat waiting for the answer that I'm gonna give for this group. It's like part of you wants to believe that you can trust them. And the other part is like, but I don't know. I don't feel like, I, I feel like it's something off. Like you feel it's something off about this person's energy. Hmm, let me tune in some more. I feel like some of you chose group two as well. Some of you chose group two and group three because I'm getting like a similar energy to the person, um, to those who chose group two. Because I'm getting like this person always leaves you alone. But okay, but I don't want to say just yet. I feel like you find yourself alone more than you care to be alone dealing with this person. And you're wondering if the reason your person is away is legitimate or if they're just feeding you BS. Because I'm getting like you're growing tired of it. You're growing tired of being by yourself. But... Okay, interestingly enough, I feel like this person, whatever excuses they're giving you for not being there, they really are legitimate. I don't feel like this person is lying to you. So, yeah, it's like because they're not around as much, you feeling like you can't trust them, like they got to have something secret going on. And I feel like they may even hold back on details. Like they tell you just enough, but they don't tell you everything. But I feel like what they do tell you is the truth for why they aren't around or why they have to cancel plans or. But I do feel like they're keeping you out of the loop for some reason. Like they're not letting you know everything. And I'm trying to figure out like why that is. Like this person feels like I'm gonna let them know this much, but not like the whole story. You know, like, I don't know why I'm picking up something about you not meeting this person's family. They could be keeping you separate from like their family or their friends. Like you may not know many people in their life. Like you may have not met the people in their life personally. And I'm getting in my head, Kenya from um, Real Housewives of Atlanta, how she said she had never met her husband's parents. I get some kind of situation like that. Like they keep their life very separate from you for some reason, but they're also not lying to you about like why they are around. It's weird. Okay, still tuning in here. I feel like you're the secret in this person's life. Okay, this is not gonna apply to everyone, but for some of you who chose this group, you could know you're the side chick or the side dude. You could know that this person is like married or just in a relationship with someone else outside of you. 
And like when they tell you that they're away, it's like, yeah, they're telling you that they're away. They got to go be with their family, whatever. Like, you know, their situation. So they're not lying to you about it, but they may not be telling you like uh, everything about like, I don't know, like this person could have told you that them and their wife or a husband or boyfriend, girlfriend are not in the best place or something like that. And that could be true. But what they aren't telling you is that maybe like sometimes them and their spouse or their boy or partner, like they're going to counseling and try to work through it. Like it's something like that. Like they're not telling you that they're trying to work through the issues in their relationship with this other person. They're just telling you that them and this person are not on good terms and they're like on the verge of breaking up or divorcing. And so you could be holding out hope on this person leaving that situation to come be with you. But you have no idea if this person is trying to like go to counseling and work on their relationship. So yeah, they could they could even be telling you like, oh, you know, uh, um, yeah, I stayed at the house last night. They could even, even be telling you like, yeah, we slept in the same bed last night. You know, we didn't do anything. And they could be telling the truth. I just get like they're honest with you, but they omit a lot of information. Okay, so for those of you who are not in a side chick, side dude situation where you're like this outside secret lover, I get like, and, and this is your person, you know, you're the only person that you're de that's dealing with them as far as you know. Um, and if they're still in this energy where they're like hiding stuff, I get something about like they're trying to surprise you. Yeah, so it's either like you're kept away from their like other life because you're the secret side person or like this person is trying to, I feel like they could have been in the secret energy lately. Like they're trying to surprise you with like a trip, a move. I'm getting um Jaheem's video for his song anything and in the video he's like secretly building a house for his woman and um yeah it's like she has no clue like they're just going about life as normal doing all the usual stuff they do and out of the blue he surprises her with the house he built with his bare hands and uh, I get like something like that could be going on for the, for you with this person. They could have gotten like, this could be, if this is someone that you're with, like I say, you're not the side person. This is someone you've been with for a while and they could have just gotten like secretive. Like they could have, you could be, the reason why you were on the edge of your seat coming to this reading when you chose this uh group is because this secret stuff is new. You're like, in your mind, because they switched up so suddenly and got so secretive, you're like, they have to be cheating. Or you like really, really fear that that's the case. But I feel like that's not the case. Not for, you know, like I said, those who this is your person. You're not the side person. If this is your person, your person is not cheating. You can trust them. The reason they're so secretive is because they're working on some kind of surprise for you. And I don't, I know I gave a couple of examples, but I don't really want to go too deep into it because I do want to respect that this person is trying to surprise you. And I do feel like that is something that you're going to be very happy with. But yeah, they got like, they got something they're cooking up for you and they don't want you to have any kind of clue about it. And this person could be like uh, spending time away um working on whatever this is for you. I feel like this energy that they're in is very temporary until they're done with whatever this surprise is. But I feel like once they surprise you with it, all of they're going to go back to normal and you're going to be, um, but yeah, this person is not cheating. And even if you're dealing with like a, you're being this, you're the side person in this situation, they aren't cheating necessarily. Like they're cheating with you but you're not the person who's getting lied to and cheated on. It's like, you know, they're in a whole other situation. They're just not telling you that they're secretly trying to work out that situation. But I feel like they're very upfront with you about the circumstances and what's going on presently. Um, 
you know, if they said that they're in separation with their wife or husband or they're going through problems, that is the truth. That is the truth. If they're telling you like, hey, I had to go over here to pick up my kids, you know, or, you know, me and my partner, you know, we took the kids out to dinner. Like, that's the truth. I get like this person is honest. But for whatever reason, they're not around a lot, either because they have a whole other relationship or because this person is working on something, um, working on the surprise for you. But like I said, either way, there's no lying involved. There's no quote unquote cheating involved. Because like I say, even if you're a side person, you know their situation, but I don't feel like there's anybody outside of you in their person that they're like that they're actually in a relationship with. So no, this wouldn't be like group two because, you know, group two is a mess. But yeah, this person, uh, they're just, this is, it's temporary for those, like I said, this is, they're just trying to get something together to surprise you. Um, like I said, the, the for the side people, I just... They're just keeping you separate because they're trying to... The thing is, if they don't... Like, they're trying to give their other relationship a fair shot. Like, if they're going through a divorce, like, if they've been separated, um, the judge could have ordered them to go through, like, marriage counseling for a year. So this could have even been something that they didn't voluntarily do, but they're having to go through it based on a court order. But they're not letting you know that. And while they're in counseling, they could be putting forth their earnest effort to like try to see if they can salvage this um, marriage, this relationship. But if it doesn't work out, and I don't want to give you any false hope, but this person could have it in there. The reason why they're leaving you out of the loop, because they don't want you to leave. Because if they can't salvage this relationship, this marriage, they do plan to be like I get like for some of you, this person plans to be with you. But it's like this relationship, this marriage is their first priority, as it should be. But so if it works out, if they're able to work their problems out in counseling, they will return to their partner. But if for whatever reason it doesn't work out and the counseling don't solve anything, some of them could be leaving indefinitely and coming to you. So that's why they're leaving you out of the loop because they don't want you to hear therapy or counseling and just like, get scared and run off and leave, you know, they they want to keep their options for, you know, whichever way this goes for them. Okay, so that's about all I have for you all for this pick a card reading. I hope it was helpful. Um, very interesting. Uh, a lot more came out than I was expecting it to, but you know, those are the messages you needed to hear. Um, again, if you have not checked out your monthly Zodiac readings or your general forecast for the year, a love forecast for the year, you can check out the Vimeo links below to view those. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, link to my website can be found below as well. And follow me on Instagram at Serene Dream Things for daily guidance. And I will be back with my readings lovelies. Bye.